Hey guys! Hey everybody, it's me, Zach, and welcome back to my channel. We're here today because I have a highly requested video for you all today. People have been asking me, they say, Zach, you have such great taste and style. We just really want to see you do a clothing haul. Do a clothing haul. Zach, where do you get your shirts from? Who is she? She's a model. So y'all, I can't, I can't let people down. It's highly requested that I do a clothing haul video. Now, there is obviously some like sarcasm, me being a little bit facetious there, right? But I did think, how fun could it be? Because I do like fashion. I've mentioned a few times I watch various clothing haul channels, people who haul clothes, particularly plus size clothes. And I just think like, y'all, it would be great to give maybe Amber Lynn a tutorial on how to do like a quality clothing haul. Now I'm not an expert by any means, but I have done a few clothing types of videos on my channel and I do think I have something to offer here. So I just want to share what my thoughts are on how to do a good clothing haul video. Does that sound like a plan? Okay, let's get into it. So I do want to say, nothing that I wear is overly fancy, like this shirt, Old Navy. Where do I get most of my clothes? Old Navy. Where else do I get clothes? Target, ASOS. We, we're not talking about anything fancy because she isn't really made of money. <laughs> so, so I'm not trying to spend a lot of money. Plus like I love fun prints, things like that. That's really my aesthetic. Some folks have called my aesthetic like dad vibes. If you're Chantal, you, you think I wear a lot of grandpa sweaters. So, you know, we're not talking about anything fancy here. I'm just your average 30 year old gay dad out here dressing to impress nobody. <laughs> <laughs> so let's get into it. So right off the bat, the first thing I got for you is a fun printed shirt from Target. And look, she's got these little birds on it. Like I said, I love a print. I am trying to expand for a long time. I was doing a lot of florals, but like gay men and florals, like that's not groundbreaking anymore. I don't know that it ever was groundbreaking, but She's got to move on. So like the whales, now we got shirts, shirts, birds. We got birds, these little parrots. I think it's so cute. And the other thing is, is I wear a lot of blues. And so I'm trying to get a little bit outside of that comfort zone. So this is the Goodfellow brand. I got it in a size extra large because she's thick. And it was $18, uh, so this is from Target. Cute, um, I'm a little concerned. I like my shirts to have a little stretch. It feels like these, this has a little bit of give, but you know, we'll see once I try her on. But overall, I think it's real cute. I think it's a nice change in the color palette. Can't wait to try it on. All right, so I do love this print. I don't think I would wear it with these pants, but I guess it could work. I'll try it on with the other pants that I wore or purchased in this haul, but I do like it. I think it has the potential of being a little bit see-through, so I'm gonna have to be conscious of what I wear as an undershirt. I do usually wear some type of shirt underneath, so I'll just need to make sure that it's not something that like has writing on it or anything like that. But I think this is cute. I think that it'll be good for like a, a nice summer look, like casual going out, maybe like going to the beach. I could have this on with some fun trunks. I would also wear this to work now. I don't know that I recommend that for everybody, but I've been able to pull off some kind of casual slash fancy looks at work, but trying to like zhush them up and make them you know, professional appropriate. So I really like it. I'm glad I got it. It is a keeper. So the next thing is a pair of pants from Target. I don't actually have a lot of pants. Actually, almost all of my pants come from Old Navy. So I'm interested to try some other options because, you know, she just needs more options. <laughs> I do love though, a pant of color. So this is a nice like, dark teal turquoise, not turquoise, really teal, like a dark teal color. I think it's gonna be cute for work. 
Um, it's a skinny uh, chino. Chino? Chino? <laughs> Look at me really sounded like Amber Lynn right now. It's a chino. So it's slim. I like my, my pants to be slim because I think it actually helps hide the fact that I don't have a booty. Cause like if I wear baggier pants, like it's clear that sis doesn't have a booty. So you'll see while I'm trying it on if, if it does or doesn't like emphasize my booty or lack thereof. I like this cute lining, like nobody sees this, but I think that that's just like a nice touch. And I wear a 34-34, so I am a tall man and I got a thick waist. <laughs> I feel like my waist could be thicker, uh, but that's neither here nor there. So I can't wait to try these. I think they're super cute. Could also even potentially pair them with the bird shirt, so we'll see. But also, we have some more shirts coming in this haul, so just you wait. All right, so these are the pants from Target. They are a little tighter than I was expecting, but they also really do have some stretch to them. So I mentioned not being sure, but these have some good stretch. So I actually really like that. I like that it's a little bit tighter. As I was talking about in, in the video, I like don't like super baggy because I, I have a flat butt. I'm not afraid to admit that. And I feel like when I have loose fitting pants, it sags in the back and it makes me look like I have a droopy diaper. So I do like to wear a little bit more of a slim fit pant because I think that that helps with that. And I don't mind showing off a little leg, y'all. <laughs> so I really like them. I'm glad I got them. It's gonna be a fun new color that I don't currently have when it comes to pants, and it's gonna be a good addition to my wardrobe. So the rest of the items I got, ooh, what is this hair? The rest of the items I got are from Old Navy. It's my preferred place to shop. I think it's like cute, affordable clothing. Cute. So I got some shirts, I got some pants, and I even got a pair of shoes, cause why the heck not? The first shirt I got is this cute, what is am I doing? It's this cute, I'm like opening it up as, as you're here with me. But it's this cute yellow striped shirt. I just thought this would be so fun for summer. She's bright, she's cheery. It's also in an XL. It's built in, um, built in flex, which is something that a lot of old navy clothes has. It gives it this like nice stretch. Uh, so that helps if you got a little extra loving in your tummy area like I do. I, I also sometimes get it in pants and they literally feel like leggings, which like as a man, you don't get to wear leggings frequently. But yeah, this is cute. One thing that I feel like all men's shirts need, all men's shirts need this, yes, talking hard, is buttons right here on the collar. Because if you don't have them, then when you wash them, they get crazy, you have to iron them. It's a whole mess, this helps out with that so they don't like curl up and things like that. I love it, I think this is cute, I can't wait to try it on. Like, I'm gonna look so cute. All right y'all, so this Old Navy yellow striped shirt, I really like it and I'm gonna tell you why I'm a little bit surprised because I usually stay away from yellows and whites because like as a person who's a little bit thicker, I think frequently we feel like those things make us look bigger because we think dark is slimming. I might look a little bit bigger, but I actually really like this. I think we also tend to stay away from vertical stripes, even though vertical stripes really do elongate. I think I've always tended to stay away because when you got a button up, if it even bulges a little bit here and stretches, it, it emphasizes, right? So it's important to get a good fit whenever you're looking at a, a vertical stripe shirt because it is going to help elongate your body, especially in areas where you feel like a little bit more sensitive to what it looks like. But I'm really liking this. I think it looks cute. I think it looks cute with these pants. Like, I love that color moment that's happening, but I think you could pair this with a lot of different colors in terms of like bottoms. So I'm really excited to have this in my wardrobe. I don't really have anything like this. Like I said, I wear a lot of blues and things like that. And this is really gonna help out with diversifying what I wear every day. The next shirt uh, falls into my blue aesthetic, maybe a little bit more than I was trying to do. But like, what kind of gay would I be if I passed up the polka dot? Like this is cute. 
I really honestly can't wait to try this. It also has the buttons on the collar. Like, I'm kind of annoyed though how this this back of the collar is already curling up. Like, I don't know if other guys even watch my channel, but it's literally like the bane of my existence is the collar on the shirts. Cause I feel like they're always trying to do something that I didn't want them to do. But this is just a cute button up, blue polka dots, two shades of blue. You know, we're, we're 50 shades of blue over here. I didn't say the price on that last one, but I assume it's about the same as this, which was, well, just kidding, it's not on the tag, but this is an extra large. If it's still available, I'll link all of this stuff down below on the websites that I got it off of. Okay, so this is the blue polka dot shirt. I like it as well. I think it's fun. I think it looks cute. I probably wouldn't pair it with these pants. I think that those two colors don't really go well together, but maybe the navy pants or uh, maybe the like maroon that I was wearing in the other try-on of the, the first Target shirt. I think that it would look cute with that. Even like a black pant. I have a pair of black corduroys that I think would look really cute with this. So there's lots of options for a blue. I mean, I wear blue all the time, so I'm not gonna have any trouble finding a different pair of pants to, to pair with it. But I do like it and the stretch in both of the Old Navy shirts is great. Like. If you feel a little bit insecure, I think that it does give in certain places. One of the things that I struggle with because of my body type is sometimes things are really tight around here and really big up here, but this really helps, like this fabric really helps in terms of making me feel a little bit more secure in my stomach section without having to look like I'm drowning at my shoulders or my chest or things like that. Like obviously I'd prefer not to have the stomach, but for the time being, I have that, and so we have to work with what we got. So the stretch really helps, and this is another cute look, and this could easily go for work, but also be super casual. Things I like to do at work is just throw a cardigan on over it, because then like the short sleeves is not a big issue. But also in my role, like I could probably get by with just wearing this like this, so. I like it, it's cute. So I did get a pair of navy pants. I'm kind of wondering why I got these. Because I don't know that I need a pair of navy pants, but I think I wanted some slightly more neutral pant collars because I wear a lot of pants of color to work. And you know, sometimes that's a lot for people. <laughs> so I think that's probably why I went with like a neutral blue because I, I do have a pair of black pants and I have a pair of like khaki pants, but I don't have any navy. So I do feel like these could be cute for work. This is... Ultimate Slim, built-in flex, 34, 34s, because like I said, long legs, thick waist. <laughs> this, I have like the same cut of pants uh, and like all of the pants and all of the colors, so I'm pretty sure this will fit. It is supposed to have uh, that built-in flex that I talked about, although it doesn't feel quite as stretchy as I'm used to in their built-in flex pants. So hopefully that works out. Oh, there's there's a little bit of stretch there. So hopefully that's cute and you know, I'll look cute in them. <laughs> All right, so the last thing, nothing super special. I do like them. I think that this color is gonna be a nice addition to my wardrobe. So happy with it. I figured they would fit just fine because like I said, I have a lot of chinos in this style from Old Navy, just in other colors. So. Knew it was gonna be probably a keeper. So the last thing I got were these retro style green shoes. Now here's what you need to know. These Facebook ads, they're listening to you, they're watching you, and I saw ads for these shoes like 1200 times on Facebook. And it got me, cause I'm like, one, I don't think I've ever worn a green shoe. And two, these are so cute. They're like retro kind of. They got a little bit of suede here or like faux suede, I'm sure. So these are a size 11. Not that you necessarily needed to know my shoe size, but that's what they are. I can't wait to try them on. You literally, I know you never see my shoes in videos, but I love shoes. I think shoes are great. I need to get rid of a whole bunch since I just bought another pair, but you know, we'll do what we can. So anyways, I hope you all enjoyed this video that this was a little nice change of pace from what I usually do on my channel. If you did, please be sure to let me know down below what you liked about it, if you wanna see me do more, etc. 
I had a lot of fun filming this, um, so I hope you did too. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please make sure to do that right now and hit that bell button so you get a notification every time I post a new video. Also make sure to leave me comments, hit the like button, hit the dislike button. Also follow me on all of my social media. And yeah, I had a great time and I'll see you all next time. Bye!